possibly be for, if not to possibly be used against us. Oh, they admit that's what it's for. And it's so creepy that it's all happening and we just see it progressing and it gets crazier by the minute. I just hope that the bureaucrats up there and, and, and the socialist professors that think they're running this show, I hope they realize if they actually start this, they're not going to win it. And believe me, I don't want it to start. I don't have any you know, delusions of grandeur. I just don't think they are really tuned in to what a true civil war in this country is going to look like. Yeah, you know, uh, Americans are, we're a unique bunch uh, because when you say American, what do you think about? Do you think about a particular color? No, you think about an ideology. We're a people from everywhere that have come here and call this place home. And so we're pretty protective of this place. And the thing that holds it all together is our founding documents. And that is why we must do everything necessary to protect those documents. And anybody who steps into office who does not uphold that oath that they take, that needs to be a criminal offense because it's bait and switch and it's the most dangerous kind. I'm curious. I want to see a show of hands right now. All those for gun control, raise your hand. All right, there's one, two, three, four. Anyone else? Ah, see there, that figures. All the usual suspects. Any questions? A clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser with concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others. Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different cleansing products. We use decades old scientific research to put together the Rolls Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. If you spend any time researching the environment, you will undoubtedly come across a polar bear. Polar bears can't swim, just one of the many whoppers we've heard. And while I'm sure there are plenty of people in the environmental movement, in the Green Party, whatever you want to call it, that have legitimate concerns about wildlife and environmental issues, there are more than a few people willing to take advantage of the situation. And to document this, we have J.D. King. He is an independent filmmaker, and he's gonna be talking to us about his new Kickstarter project to document the polar bears. Let's take a look at this film. Ever since Al Gore's movie came out, the media hasn't stopped talking about polar bears and sea ice. For the first time, they're finding polar bears that have actually drowned. Polar bears have become a symbol of our impact on the planet. I guess the basic idea is that we're harming polar bears by driving our cars to work and living a normal 21st century life. For years, we've heard about Arctic polar bears roaming ever-shrinking habitats in search of dwindling food supplies. Rising temperatures are killing off polar bears. The diminishing population of polar bears. Dwindling numbers of polar bears. Have been feasting on dolphins for the first time ever. You are watching the process of extinction happen before your eyes.
In our lifetimes, there's never been a bigger environmental issue than this. We're all familiar with the polar bear story, from the sentimental television ads to the crazy videos of polar bears falling out of the sky. Uh, the world's news and media just keep on saying the same thing. But what if I were to tell you that there's now compelling evidence out there that suggests that this whole polar bear and global warming sea ice saga is entirely wrong. Polar bears are thriving. In fact, 50 years ago, there were only five to 10,000 of these species. Today, there are over 25,000. J.D. King is our guest. Thank you for joining us today, J.D. Hey, my pleasure. So tell us about your recent Kickstarter project. So what we're trying to do is uh, raise some funding to get a project going uh, to expose the polar bear global warming sea ice situation. So going deeper into that, we just played your film and we've seen uh, some famous quotes. I'm not exactly sure what all you have in the film, just having seen the trailer, but we've seen people like Al Gore come out, say polar bears can't swim, uh, the, all these various yeah. things, these environmental issues. So as far as your film, how deep into that do you go? Well, the film hasn't been made yet. That's why we're on Kickstarter. We're in the process of putting this film together. Really excited about it. Uh, but the polar bear story uh, was introduced by Al Gore in Inconvenient Truth. Yeah, polar bears floating on the icebergs. They're sinking. They're dying. But this issue hasn't gone away at all. For the last 8, 10, 12 years, it's been the uh, worldwide icon and symbol of the global warming um, uh, alarmists. And even this year, you've probably seen all the headlines. Polar bears seen eating dolphins for the first time ever. Mm -hmm. You know, polar bears are going to be gone by 2025. You know, two-thirds of them are going to be gone by 2050. They're disappearing. You know, President Obama just went up to Alaska to go pose with some melting glaciers uh, on the one hand. And then, you know, on the other hand, he announced uh, like an upgrade in the, the icebreakers trying to buy more of those. Um, so that's a story we've heard for years and years that polar bears are dying. But when you examine the facts... It's completely not true. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to tell the true story here because if if big government and the media can't get something as simple as the polar bear story right, how can we possibly even dream of trusting them with something much bigger, uh, like the global climate system? It's and, ridiculous. Oh, yeah, that's exactly right. And not to get too off the uh, polar bears, we'll definitely get back to that in a second. But when we sure. talk about the, uh, the climate or the climate change, because... People who pay attention, though, it used to be global cooling, then it became global warming, and now they use the all-inclusive term climate change. So whether it's hot, if it's cold, if it's rain, if it's, if it's drought, everything fits into this narrative of climate change. And to go one step beyond that, I don't know if you saw earlier this year, they had the reports, 2014, the hottest year on record. And let's just say for the sake of argument, that was true, that it was record heat here, here, and here, but we also had a record cold. It didn't say 2014, the hottest year on the record with the exception of Chicago, Illinois, that had some of the coldest temperatures in 100 years, or Detroit, <laughs> Michigan, that had some of the coldest temperatures in 100 years. So when it, we all come back to it and it goes to the, uh, the wildlife, particularly the polar bears, uh, what do you want people to know about this project that you have going on? Well, the truth of the matter is that there's more polar bears now uh, than there's ever been in recorded history. I mean, just in Al Gore's lifespan, they've, uh, they've gone up three or four fold. Um, they went from about 5,000 tops about 50, 100 years ago, best estimates, to between 25 and 30,000 today. Uh, so the polar bear is actually an amazing success story of wildlife conservation. And uh, you, you, like you said, the climate changes all the time. It's always changing, yet they've never told us. You know, all these alarmists who freak out about two degrees now, which is going to destroy the planet. Maybe you've heard of, heard that. Um, but what they what they fail to mention is that the temperature has always gone up. It's always gone down. And they've never told us what that ideal temperature is. Um, and glaciers have been melting and receding a little bit ever since the last ice age for, for hundreds of years. And there's no indication whatsoever that that's been accelerated uh, by human activity. You know, the Industrial Revolution... Uh, it was about 150 years ago, but this current warming trend has been uh, going up long before that. I do agree because I meet a lot of people, I don't know if you do, but they always talk about pollution. And yes, we do have a pollution issue, whether it's, you know, you know a dump or, you know, we think of the, uh, sure. the BP oil spill. But then they always try to connect that to climate change. That's like saying if I throw a potato bag chip on the ground, it caused a tsunami in Japan. I'm like, that doesn't make any type of sense. But these are the type of arguments that they try to present to people. Absolutely. It's all about the emotion. You know, uh, these people are all about using uh, an emotional hook like a polar bear 
and uh, and using it to push an agenda. They care less about arguing the truth. I mean, I've been blown away as I've researched this more, and uh, people have been pointing out these facts. Uh, I've communicated with uh, Dr. Susan, Susan Crockford. She's featured in our Kickstarter trailer. Um, but all the stuff the public's never told, it just blows you away, man. I just tell you, it blows you away. It's like Antarctic sea ice is uh, way higher than it's ever been. Um, the, the Arctic sea ice grew by a third last year. And when, when there is a warming spell in the Arctic, what we actually see is a boom in the ring seal population. Okay, ring seals are what polar bears eat. So a warming trend means more ring seals, which means the following winter, there's more polar bears. <laughs> who guessed? Yeah, who would have thought if they had stuff to eat, they may stick around and actually eat it. So tell us uh, the Kickstarter, what the Kickstarter page is and also what your goal is. Well, our Kickstarter page can be found um, on kickstarter.com. You search for Ice Bear, you'll find our page. We got all kinds of information about polar bears up on there. And um, our goal here is to raise, we need $119,000. Um, currently, we're at about 12000 We have two weeks to go. The last two weeks of the campaign are usually the most successful. I funded my last film on Kickstarter, actually. Um, it's called Blue, uh, bluebeatscreen.com. Uh, you can find that there. But that was 100% uh, uh, funded by the people who, who wanted me to make that film. And I want this one to be the same way. It's important to me that this film gets funded by people who want the truth and people who demand the truth. You know, not, not, not a think tank, not a big organization, but by people American people who are sick of the status quo, who want the truth and who demand the truth. And so we want to we want to expose uh, Al Gore and the, this big uh, climate change agenda um, for what it really is. Yeah. And I'm glad you're doing this because we always hear the argument, or at least I hear the argument. If it was that big of a deal or if there's something not truthful in the mainstream narrative, why am I not seeing this? Well, I always give them the thing, if you knew that you were wrong about something, would you bring somebody on your major network channel to debunk you with a compelling, uh, coherent argument? Of course you wouldn't. So that's why we need films like this and the other projects that you've made to get this message out to people so they can see an alternative view to this inconvenient lie that we saw with Al Gore and all this other stuff. And just say one last thing about Al Gore before I let you wrap up. I remember in the movie he had the scene where he was talking about how it was either Greenland or Iceland could be covered by uh, water in you know, the near future. And as far as I know, they have no reason to expect that to happen at all. Uh, so, uh, J.D., give us your final thoughts. Well, and this is an issue that's really important to me. Um, for the last six or seven years, I've been just 100% poured myself into exposing overreaching environmentalism um, going on in, in the western United States where I grew up with issues like the wolf, the spotted owl, where we've seen industries get shut down and people destroyed. And uh, now I just really, uh, my team and I really want to take a stab at this global issue uh, because what's what's going on behind the scenes is an effort uh, with, with the global elites to control uh, the world, really, especially the developed world like the United States uh, in the name of saving the planet carbon dioxide. And there's nothing at all that they cannot touch uh, in the name of the environment and saving the planet. And that is very concerning to us. J.D. King, thank you for your time. Hey, I appreciate being on your show. Thanks. Well, I'm Jakari Jackson from the InfoWars Command Center, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. A clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different cleansing products. We use decades-old scientific research to put together the Rolls-Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.